Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Lightroom tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can remove simple spots and objects using the Spot Removal tool. So whether you're in Lightroom Classic or Lightroom or even Camera Raw, you should be able to find the Spot Removal tool or the Healing Brush. And if you click on that brush, it'll give you two options, whether to clone or heal. So the healing versus cloning, cloning literally will take one area and put it in the other. Whereas the healing will kind of try to take from all around and fill it in. So I'm going to go with the healing first and you can adjust the size, feathering and opacity of the brush. So I'm going to keep the opacity at hundred and I'm just going to pick a size that's good for the object that I want to remove. So just for example, if I want to remove this footstep, I'll just do something like that. And this is a pretty easy example because sand is such a noisy texture that you can see it's basically a perfect spot removal. No one would really be able to tell the difference that that was never there. However, if we wanted to remove this person, that's a little bit more complicated. So luckily this picture works well. It's kind of a clear sky. Um, it's not taking up too much of the frame, but it is a relatively larger sized object in the frame. But still I can just kind of paint in with my healing brush and Lightroom will try to do the best job it can pulling from another area. Now you can always see these dots where you had spot healing and you can move around and try to figure out your own better area to choose from. So you do have some manual tuning. And also if you ever want to see what it looks like without the overlay, you can always just click the spot healing brush again, just to kind of see what it actually looks like. And for me personally, I'm going to add a little bit of feathering. So I'm going to click on that dot maybe just increase the feathering a bit so it's you don't see the edges as much. So although this is not perfect, it's still a pretty solid job of removing the person. If you first glanced at this picture, you probably wouldn't be able to tell that there necessarily was something there, despite the kind of cool shadow and footsteps being left behind. And again, this is for spots. So just to show you the clone brush tool, basically the same thing. If I was to remove that, except the clone brush you see is literally cloning exactly from one area onto the other. So that can come in handy for different cases. But if I ever want to go back to any of my dots, I can always click them again, adjust them, or simply press delete and delete them if I didn't want them. So that's how you remove simple spots and objects and things in Lightroom or Camera Raw. This should come in handy a lot. And for more advanced cases where you're going to need a lot more detail or a lot more difficult selection, that's when you'd probably want to move over to Photoshop and use some of the tools in Photoshop like Content Aware Fill and things like that. So hopefully this video helped you remove a spot out of your photo or learn how. If you enjoyed this tutorial, check out some of my other Lightroom and editing tutorials on my channel and subscribe to stay tuned for all of my new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.